Friends, you must have seen uh, the latest news item coming out from Cyprus. You can see on the screen, Cyprus murders expose abuse of migrant women. There are hundreds and hundreds, maybe thousands of uh, migrant women working in Cyprus from different countries like Philippines, India, Nepal, maybe East Europe. Uh, they, are, they are working as... Um, live-in caregivers, they are working as uh, attendants, uh, as maids in houses, and they are being exposed to discrimination, racism, um, sometimes uh, even sexual uh, harassment, and they are working long hours. So the latest report uh, coming out from Cyprus is showing that people in Cyprus, they do not like them. And one of the army officers confessed to the murder of five migrant women and two girls uh, in in what is uh, believed to be islands for serial serial killing uh, it, it is a sad story because I know I've got many calls from uh, from Cyprus living caregivers especially Punjabi caregivers asking them to find a job in Canada which I cannot but this incident highlights the amount of torture abuse and and uh, bad things happening for them uh, for domestic workers in 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 cyprus so i just wanted to uh, show you this report so that if you have any of your friends or relatives or family members working there you have to be very careful if you're facing any kind of difficulty you need to return to your home country and uh, you know you, uh, you you should should uh, take caution against uh, being abused the, the news item is also telling you a lot of things about, for example, tens of thousands of migrant women working as housemates in conditions that critics have described as akin to modern slavery. Uh, you know, people, are, the, you know, the Cyprus Justice Minister also resigned, you know, because uh, this is a Red Lake and bodies have been found in Red Lake there. Um, uh, take a look at what is going on. I mean, they hardly get uh, below 400 euros a month that is a uh, that is quite quite a low salary and uh, despite signing contracts that stipulate a 42 hour working week with one day off many women are frequently working uh, 12 to 14 hours a day with little or no holiday and often suffer sexual harassment um, they are also working for more than one employer, which is not allowed by law, but, but they have to because their salaries are too low and they may have paid to the agents in their home country. And that's why they have to recoup all the all the expenses. And I'm, I'm surprised, you know, not only they are working here, but they have they are sending money uh, to their to their families back in the home countries to support the uh, support their families. I mean, this is this is horrible. They are coming through agents after paying an initial fee between two thousand and seven thousand dollars, and the agents are making all the money. Uh, whereas these uh, brave uh, Filipino women are working hard to feed their families, and you know, just uh, just quite quite a horrible. Uh, so just read this article. It's on it's on um, it's on BBC, and I think I guess everywhere. Uh, you know, you just have to be careful. If these things are these things are happening, and, and you know, you just have to be, you, you probably have to leave and, and come back to your home country if this is if this is an option for you. Uh, take a look at this. Uh, Christina Fontes Casa Similex Mishu is a domestic help volunteer man, but also forced to forced to help at the family's restaurant. The restaurant had many customers. I worked from seven in the morning till six or seven at night. Wow. Uh, Esther Beatty says, "Call for domestic order to be shared between three families so that they can share the cost, even though it's against the law. They don't, uh, they don't get a proper day off. Wow, wow, oh my God! The model went out of control. Led to a situation where 20% of the population were migrants. The island's migrant population is between 70,000 and 80,000. Uh, yeah, so this was started in 1991 to fill in gaps in employment. But you know, uh, this is not a good place to be, especially for a single woman." Well, any, any woman, I guess, uh, the discrimination here is huge, racism is rampant, and it's, uh, similar conditions to modern slavery. So this is uh, what I wanted to show you. So this is on uh, on BBC. Go ahead and type, you know, bbc.com, type Cyprus murders, and you will be able to see the, you know, see this thing happening. All right. Thank you very much for your time.